In this video, I'm going to show you how can you can using Adobe Spark to quickly create video. So uh, to using Spark to have uh, so many benefit, and the one most important one is just so easy to get things done. So let's show the process. First, uh, we go to the uh, blue icon here on the top left corner. We log in, we sign into Spark, and then you sort of select the video. And then let's give this video a title. Um, you know, basically this is a system to uh, to store this uh, this uh, project. Um, let's do uh, Thanksgiving. Okay, so here we have some option to pick a story template uh, or just build a new one. So I'm going to just build a new one. So the difference is when you pick a template, they uh, have some placeholder uh, around there. Um, so sometimes it's, it's exit what we need for a simple uh, application. So here we have a demonstration window here um, and it show a very simple uh, introduction. Um, it's one minute, um, but I'm not going to show here. Uh, I want to encourage you when you working with your project, um, view this video before you get a uh, following the next part of the demonstration. Okay, close this. Um, so in this uh, window, we have uh, several uh, you know control panels, uh, you know different functions on here. Um, the bottom show the uh, you know the main timeline, so you will see that they're a little bit different. It's a little bit close to Rosh, but it is still not very uh, similar. Um, and uh, but the you know the uh, the function uh, the, are the same. Um, this one basically f feels more like a keynote slideshow. Um, on the right hand side, we have some uh, some layout templates. You know, think about what you're gonna do with this page. Um, well, most most of the time we do the full screen, um, and sometimes you want to split the screen. Uh, of course, uh, that's totally fine. Um, and then there will be the theme. Um, so you can think about what it seems you want. For example, when you just hover your mouse, you will see um, how this one works. You know uh, how the animation works. Um, with the default templates, you know this is really templates based, and I think we can uh, we can pick um, for example um, let's do the uh, the folks one uh, the the first one will be the default or we we'll pick the third one here and uh, um, and I add some uh, for example we add a picture first so we've got a whole photo um, and here we have some option here. You can upload the photos, you can take photo using your camera, uh, and uh, you can also use Creative Cloud that you know from somewhere, but you can also find free photos for a demonstration and the practice purpose. This is really a good chance. Just find for, for some uh, for free photos. Um, I'm gonna do put some uh, oh, sorry. Put some you know, like a like mountain picture, just using the first one. Okay, so when you preview, this one show a very simple zoom in facts. Okay, which is I think is good. Um, uh, so now I'm going to put uh, like a title here. Um, so this one going to show you um, like. Uh, Okay. I'm going to just, just put some text information um, and um, so now let's uh, preview it. Okay, pretty nice. They were kind of like a little bit smart uh, than what we what think. Uh, it's based on the text numbers. It's, a, it's kind of a slightly adjustment the, uh, the time uh, duration. I don't know. You know, if they're doing this, but I feel that they put some uh, some um, uh, ideas on that uh, to to make this really uh, a smart application. Um, you know, again, everything so you feels simple. That means it's a really a uh, very uh, complicated product building behind it. Um, so now let's add a new pro a new uh, you know things here. It's a video, and we're gonna to, uh, add a video block here. 
Okay, uh, so the video block sec uh, section, you can define how long you want this video um, uh, to display um, and, uh, and which part you want. So it's basically a very simple in and out point. Uh, visually, just to show here, the highlight area will be uh, the input and output. Okay, all right. I think I just like this, and then we'll just save this one uh, to make this one available. Okay, so it will take time to do the uh, video clip, uh, you know, trim the video clip to make this ready. Uh, to put this one back to the uh, server, uh, so it's actually take uh, quite a lot of time. Um, and then next, we're going to add a new block here. And this time, we want to um, get uh, maybe uh, another video. We just do another video here. So in this one, uh, I think we're going to uh, to keep this one the same length. Um, as the, the the first one, so um, we're just uh, using the uh, same, uh, you know, like a six seconds. And usually, you can, you know, for those type of uh, footage, um, think about it. Just maybe keeping them the same as uh, shorter than five seconds. Okay. All right. Now let's go. Um, well, here we can uh, split the screen. Uh, so you have something you can show here, um, <clears throat> and uh, we can uh, let's do this. Um, you know, like a basically say something. Um, make images and videos and website using Adobe. Spark. You know, try to put a little, little bit longer uh, information here. Okay. If you do, want to do any change, graphic posts. Okay, I would say social post. Okay. Um. And again, I'm going to, uh, we can, oh, yes. So you can do the uh, text adjustment um, and you can also put a logo if you're, um, you know, uh, this one will be uh, con controlled by the Adobe Spark system. I'm not uh, edited this, uh, but you can remove this one. Um, and then we can test the preview it. You will see this one have a quick zooming effect for the text section, make it a very, you know, um, a live uh, uh, video editing uh, in After Effects or Premiere Pro to achieve those things you need a little bit of work, but here you just pick the templates. Okay, um, let's add a new things um, so we can end in this uh, information. I'm going to just add uh, the last video, put it here. Okay, so now let's try to have it show the process. Okay, so we uh, we play this button, we click this button to play, it's only play the current highlighted um, section. Um, but if you click this one, the preview will gonna go to show all the process. Yeah, I think it's a pretty nice. It's it's a, we see the um, you know the transition and the video effect. The video always move, uh, which is very nice. And uh, you know, it's making the video uh, creating this video quite easy. Um, okay, uh, so this one uh, with the uh, you know the credits. So um, we could say um, motion design. Okay, so once you add something, okay, once you add something and then we play, um, they will show here, okay? Created artworks by, you know, um, Bobby, et cetera, you know, you put a, a more information there, um, and this section will on. 
Okay, so when you do a social net, you know, when you do a social post, well, it's quite important uh, to including the any words um, that uh, you know uh, contributed to your um, final editing. Um, so um, let's see this one. Okay, so we have now we have all the uh, options here, uh, so you can quickly just uh, download this one or share this one. So you have several options. You can uh, you know um, publish or send to your Google Drive. Um, but let's just go to the download section. You can click download. They will prepare. They will prepare your video. So basically, they're rendering uh, this one to generate a. Uh, uh, image or generate uh, mp4 uh, files for you to download okay um, so let's see the speed okay so once you have the final document you can you know um, upload to YouTube and you know it's yours it's just like what we usually do in uh, Premiere Pro um, and uh, uh, also FFX and so when they render in those videos so now we have this videos on, and uh, this will just become a standard um, MP4 document. So you can uh, play. Now it's a standard file, and it can be shared through internet, and you can send it to um, other other video files. So um, we forgot to mention that uh, the 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 music section and the resize. The resize is quite a you know you, you can simply change the widescreen to square by just one click. And also the music here is all free, so um, you can change whatever the music you like when you heard from here uh, without a, uh, think about the uh, the copyright issues. Okay, so um, this is just quick, uh, you know, walkthrough of the how you can using Spark Video to create a quick video editing. Uh, if you have videos, you can mix the videos and the image for uh, uh, events uh, that actually could be a business, and it's also very nice to have a video works in your portfolio. Um, even you can mention that is Spark Video, so it's just new possibility and show that you'll be able to handle uh, any type of uh, uh, you know uh, tools to complete the job.